Good evening, guys. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Well, guys, um, welcome once again to the class. It's really nice to see you. I hope that you had a great weekend, that every one of you is safe at home right now. And uh, well, here we are once again to learn something new, to have some practices once again, and to try to remember everything we have seen all these past days. So, um, well, today guys, we are going to have like, the class will be divided in two practices because we're going, well, I will check how much you remember about one of the topics that we saw like on the first week, I guess, or in the second one, I really don't remember at this point, but it is just kind of review about the simple present. I'm pretty sure that every one of you is able to understand at this point that every one of you completely mastered at this moment, um, any, everything about simple present. So, Today, we are going to have uh, a little review about simple present, but today is not going to be about uh, positive and negative statements. We are going to be focusing a little bit more on questions, okay? So today we're going to have um, the ways we can create uh, questions using the simple present. And obviously the first practice is going to be about positive and negative statements because that part, we already saw it. Um, can you hear me clearly, guys? Because I Yes, just... teacher. Oh, okay, okay. Because I see some of your faces like, que esta diciendo that I don't understand what he's saying. But okay, so uh, is everyone understanding what I said? Are we clear on that part? Hello. Siempre, siempre los lunes venimos cargando, chicos. Todavía cargando. Yes, teacher. Understood. Okay. All right. So Luis is the only one that understood, actually. What about the other ones? Or oh, Rodrigo yeah. as well? Understood, teacher. Sorry, teacher. No, no, no lo logré escuchar. Okay. So I was saying that today we are going to... Um, to see or we're going to have a, a little two practices actually the first practice is going to be about simple present with positive and negative statements and today we are going to have a brief review about simple present as well but today we are going to be focusing on the way we create questions in simple present we are going to learn the structures and, uh, and uh, oh my God, oh my God, I'm sorry. 
we have a earthquake right now here. <laughs> oh my God. Did you feel that? Was it was only me? Only you, teacher. <laughs> oh, probably. It, it was here, probably. Oh my God, that was weird. <laughs> we had a little, a little earthquake right now, like just a brief one. That was weird. I have never had a situation like that. Oh my God, it's still, I can still feel something. Okay. Hopefully we don't have a, a, a big one. Okay, so <laughs> after that, <laughs> it just happened. I'm sorry. Yeah. Probably uh Stella, why you're laughing? Probably you saw my face, right? Me cambió la cara rapidito, but that was weird. So I just felt the earthquake like really fast. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, probably in the place where I'm live at, uh, it's we're still having those little earthquake like once a week or something like that. Uh, well, so going back to what I was saying at the beginning, is everything clear about the practices we're going to have today? Yes. yes. Okay. Very good. Adriana, are we all right? Understood now? Yes. yes. All right. So um, let, let me just check, first of all, what do you remember, guys, about the simple present when we saw that? What are you able to remember at this point? I'm sorry. Yeah, simple. Present. Mm -hmm. Habla, bueno, expresa los hábitos, las rutinas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, routines. Esto se utiliza el dos y el das. Okay. All right. Do and das. Do, do das. Uh -huh. All right. Yes, that's that's pretty much it. Okay, so let's start with today's class, guys. And as I said, it's going to be a brief, actually a brief recap, not focusing on everything because at this point, we already saw simple present positive and negative statements. So as I said, today we're going to be focusing on questions. And here we have like a very general information of how, or some examples, on some questions that we have in the simple present. Example, we have uh, normally, guys, we use do with the personal pronouns, I, you, we, they. And of course, we are going to use thus with he, she, and it, okay? So everyone at this point completely understands that. So, we have some examples right here of a general um, questions in the way that you can give a short answer. So we have, do I like cheese? Do you like cheese? Do we like cheese? Do they like cheese? All right. So when it comes to a short answer, guys, we could say, yes, I do. Yes, we do. Yes, they do. Yes, you do. Okay. Or we can say the negative part. No, I do not. Or I don't. No, we do not. Or no, we don't. No, you do not. Or you don't. And no, they do not. Or they don't. Let me ask a question to someone of you. Let me see. Lisette, okay, Lisette, are you? Yeah, are you? Yeah, Lisette Montoya, okay, Lisette. Yes, teacher. So, okay, Lisette. Um, if I have the question, do you like cheese? What would your long answer be? Mm. Um. Like your long answer to that question. Do you like cheese? I know, teacher. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Okay, let me see. Uh, Stephanie Figueroa, what would the long answer be to that question? If I ask you, 
Do you like cheese? Yes, I do. That, that will be the short answer, but what about the long answer? The long answer is yes, I do. No. Um, yes, I like the cheese. I like cheese. I like cheese. Very good. So, as you know, guys, for the long answers, what we do is we take into consideration what we have in the question and automatically we just kind of repeat the same thing that we have in the question. But just for the short answer, we just have to say I do or I don't, depending on, um, on what you're saying, yes or no. So this is just general information, guys. I'm going to move on because I'm pretty sure that some of you already understand this part. But if there's anyone or someone of you that do not understand this part, just feel free and confident to ask any question. Because um, normally what you don't ask the questions and when we go to the exercises, you don't even know what to do. If you're asking to your classmates, like, like, what do we have to do here? What do we have to do that? And it is because you do not make the questions. So here we have guys, the contractions that we normally do when we use do or, or does. But that's the negative contractions because obviously we have two words. Do not equals to don't, does not equals to doesn't. So if I have the example, I don't like meat, that's equals to, I do not like meat. That's the same thing. So something here that says there's no difference in meaning, though we normally use contractions in spoken English. So my suggestion for you guys is to get used to contractions because normally, Americans and people who speak English, they love to use contractions instead of saying the whole thing. Because, you know, when you say the, for example, it's easier to say, I don't like meat than saying, I do not like meat. Of course, the same thing, but it's easier when you're, while you're speaking English to use contractions instead of saying the whole thing. Okay. So, with that being said, guys, just with those brief inform with that brief information that I just gave you, is there any questions so far? No, teacher. En este caso, este ponemos el el dasen, digamos, pero el verbo vuelve a su forma original, digámoslo, al verbo principal. Yeah, of course. Yeah, for example, if you say, let's say that we have here, she doesn't like meat. If I say she doesn't like, there, when I'm using the negative, I'm not going to modify the verb. That's the only thing. You won't have to modify the verb. It will still stay it as uh, a normal verb, like in the base form. So if there's no questions, here we have practice number one, guys. This is practice number one. So uh, you know what to do? Take a screenshot on your phone or take a picture because we're going to have our first practice. What are you going to do here, guys? As it says over there, correct the verbs using the third person only. Third person only, no more than that. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Can I move on? Yes. Which person? Yes. Third person. Third, third person. Third, yes. And here we have the second one.
Y esta hoja, mono. La recogeme, por favor. Gracias. Ajá. Yeah. Ya, teacher. Ok. So that's practice number one, guys. We just have those two exercises. So we are going to move on to the breaker rooms. When you're done, please type on the chat, done. So I will know that your group finished so we can come back to the main session and we can continue with the topic that we have for today. Are we clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Teacher, ¿podría poner la primera, por favor? Es que no se me aguardó la captura, la foto. Just give me a moment. Ok. Gracias. Ya, teacher, gracias. Por ahí escuchamos una alabanza, ¿verdad? I know. Ok. Thank you very much for turning your microphone off. So, um, well, guys, before we're going to the breaker rooms, I want to say thank you very much for working on the platform. I have seen, well, I've been checking the platform, and obviously I've been checking if you have been working on that, and I've seen that some of you are really working hard on that. So let me congratulate it to you because... I mean, I know that that's part of your job because the program requires for you to get 80% at the end of the module, but it's really, it's really good to see that you're working on that. So, cause that, that, that is part of your responsibility because we have had some students in the past that in the last day, they start doing all exercises like, you know, like that, that's, that's not good because at the end you will have a lot to do just for one day. Sometimes it won't be enough. All right. So guys, I already sent you the invitations. Please try to join your groups. Again, English, please. English, okay? Gosh. 
This meeting is being recorded. I think the yeah. I think the the, the, the the teacher says that we need to uh, correct the verbs in the list, like if we if we make uh, sentences like a third person. In this case, in this case, I think that we need to add uh, to each verb the letter S. Yeah, yes, or I uh, yes. In this case, the number one C, I think we need to add the letter S. The correct form is C. Mm -hmm. Takes, brushes, kisses, calls, gives, Plays, studies, watches, helps, cuts. Okay. I think on, on that way. Only in, in number 13, the swim. I, I have a dog. He's, In the seven, only add S to. Yeah, please. Yes. Please. Yes. No, okay, thank you. In the eight, is studies. In the night, watches. Yes, watches. Yes. Waiter. Yeah. Pero waiters no es verbo. It's translating. What, uh, what is waiter? Yes, what do you mean? Waiter is in Spanish. Uh -huh. What do you mean waiter? Mesero. Regar. Regar. Um, ah, yes, verbo. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, and then uh, waters. Uh huh. Waters. Um, the other chooses. 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 Okay. Um, fly. Flies. 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 Uh huh. Add uh. e. Uh, no. Add i e s. Yes. Yes. Okay. Match matches. Matches. Okay. Match. E and carry. Carries. Carries. Yes. Okay. Okay, Rufino. Next, please. Okay. Do you see? No. <clears throat> Okay, one, one, one. Yes. Yeah, no, okay. Okay, sería siguiente slide. English. Next. <laughs> next. Write the sentence negative. Okay. We will change the verb to the best form. So in the first, Raul doesn't like to work every day. Yes. Yes. Works. Did you guys already finished?
teacher. Yes. Can you share the role of the of the person again? What What do you mean? Mm. Que si puede compartir las reglas de las terceras personas nuevamente en el grupo de WhatsApp o en clase. Okay, Porque... yeah. Uh -huh. But I remember that I sent you the, the presentation, didn't I? Porque por lo menos yo en internet encuentro una y las de la clase no las... No las copia. Y creo que esa presentación no la compartió. Oh, really? Okay, so I, I, I will try to do it um, after, the, after the class. So please try to remember me so I don't forget it. Okay, please. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Sí. Dejemos Dime. esa pregunta y pasemos a la dos. Ajá. Preguntémosle al teacher. Teacher, mm -hmm. we have a question. Mm -hmm. We have a problem with the, with the, the first, first sentence. The first Ajá. Is, uh, I don't know. Cycles. Ajá. Cy Is barrel cycles or no? Have you ever heard that when you're using when you're using a bike, a bike, they say that you're cycling. cycling. Uh -huh. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's Pedalear. the part. Yeah. Pedalear. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's cycle. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, thank okay. you, thank you. All right. Okay. Okay, so and then? Raul doesn't cycle, cycle. to that's work. Every day. Every day. Uh -huh. Exactly. Okay. Okay, the second. Mm -hmm. uh, the shop closes at. This meeting is being recorded. The next. Yeah, no, 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 Yes. No? En la 22, ¿cómo les quedó? Les, ahí en agua, ahí no se puede porque no es verbo, ¿verdad? Eh, sí, es eh, water. water. Es el final. Uh -huh. Water. ¿Se le pone S al final? Sí. Pero si eh, no es verbo. We can puede? use that one as a verb, because even though water means agua, we can also use it as a verb, meaning Moja. regar. Moja. Ah, regando. Okay. Okay. Entonces, entonces, es. So what happened, Rodrigo? Did your group already finish? Okay, so if you're back to the main session, it means that you already finished, correct? Okay. 
Hello. Hi. Well, I'm guessing hey. everyone, uh, well, that you already finished because that was not that complicated. It was actually easy, really, really easy. The only thing that you had to do it was only to remember the to remember the rules, to remember what you had to do, and that was pretty much it. It was not that complicated. So just let me wait for the other ones because I can see still group number two are still there. Maria, Veronica, still there. Okay. Okay. All right, so let me let me share the screen and let's go because that's that was really easy. So I will give you a number and please remember your number. Remember your number. Okay. Uh, verb number one, Rufino. Number two, Estela. Number three, Tatiana. Number four, Maria Veronica. Number six, Patricia Veronica. Seven, Catherine Villamariona. Eight, Claudia Raeta. Nine, Alejandra Cristina. Ten, Jenny Sanchez. Eleven, Veronica de Martinez. Twelve, Maria Luz de Nieto. Thirteen, Norma Marbelli. Fourteen, Jacqueline Pineda. Fifteen, Cecilia. Sixteen, Rodrigo Chicas. Seventeen, Lisette. Eighteen, Alba. Nineteen, Christian Marroquin, 20, Carlos Dubon, 21, Brenda Villeda, 22, Luis Enrique, 23, Adriana Enriquez, 24, Rubia Franco, 25, Stephanie Figueroa. Okay, so you go ahead. Sí. Yes. Okay, we're good. Nike. I'm sorry. Nike. Do not take. Takes. Yes. Very good. Mm -hmm. Brushes. Brushes. Go ahead. Kisses. Kisses. Okay. Uh -huh. Who's the next one? Ya se les olvidó el número, ¿verdad? Oh, Teacher, my God. Esa, esa no la dio a nadie. La número 5 no se la dio a nadie. Se pasó de la 4 a la 6. Okay, so that's for me then. Call calls. Okay, number 6. Gives. Gives. Very good. Plays. Plays. Mm -hmm. Number eight. Studies. Studies. Uh -huh. Watches. Watches. Help. Mm -hmm. Next one. Guys. Eleven. No, eleven. Who's eleven? Oh. Cut. 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 Cuts. Cries. Cries. Uh -huh. Thirteen. Oh my God, guys, you forget that fast. Tan rápido se los olvido un número. Who is number 13? <coughs> Bless you. Oh my God. Thank For you. 14. Who's 14 then? Go ahead, guys. 14. I wake. Okay, very good. 15. Teachers. Teachers, okay. 16. Losses. Losses, okay. 17. Catch. Catch. Catches. 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 Mm -hmm. 
18. Buys. Buys. Okay. 19. Who is 19? Comes. Passes. Passes. 20. Comes. Comes. 21. Fights. Fights. 22. Waters. Waters. 23. Chooses. Chooses. Very good. 24. Fleet. Flies. Flies. 25. Matches. Matches. All right. So uh, we're going to move forward, guys. Uh, oh, my God. No. Due, due to the time, because we don't have enough time right now. So let's move on. So uh, as I said at the beginning, we were going to be focusing on how to make questions today. So for the questions as well, we're going to use the auxiliaries, do and does, according to what you already know in grammar. Do for are you with they, does for he, she, it, the third person. So we have some examples right there. Do you like chocolate? Short answer, yes, I do. No, I don't. Carlos Dubon, help me with number two, please. Do I need a pencil? Yes, you do. No, you do. No, you don't. Thank you very much. Pencil. Brenda Villeda, number three. Three. Um, do you both like chocolate? Yes, we don't. No, we don't. Do you both like chocolate? Yes, we do. No, we don't. Luis Enrique, number four. Do they, do they like chocolate? Do, do they like chocolates? Mm -hmm. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Chocolate. Okay, very good. Uh, let me see Rufino, the next one. Does he like chocolate? Yes. He does. He does. No, he doesn't. Tatiana, the next one. Nice. Does she like the chocolate? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Does she like? Okay, thank you very much. Maria Luz de Nieto, the last one. Does it high for me? Have for words? Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. It does. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't. Does it have four wells? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. So, guys, as you can see here, we have a, like, a, like a brief explanation of how to make short answers, affirmative and negative, what we already saw. So, as you can see, it's not that complicated. You just have to remember uh, the auxiliaries to use them every single time that you give an a short answer, okay? So... Here, guys, we have two ways or how you can make questions in simple present. We have a formula. As you can see, formula number one, it says that you have to use first auxiliary, then a subject, then a verb, then the rest that we can also call it complement. Then you can say yes or no, depending on your answer, subject, and obviously the auxiliary or contracted form. We have an example right there. Let me see, Estela, help me reading example number one. Estela. Perdón. Mm -hmm. Do Go you ahead. read books? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Okay, thank you very much. Patricia Veronica Salazar, go ahead, help me reading number two. Does Peter play football? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for that little intonation that you made for the question. As I always have been telling you guys, when you make a question, it's really important that you make a little intonation to make 
the receptor clear that you're making that question. So thank you very much for that intonation, Patricia. That was very good. So as you can see, the first formula or the first structure, this one, number one, is the one that we already know. It's not complicated. So let's see what happens in number two. As you can see, in number two, the only thing that changes is that instead of using only the auxiliary do or does, we are going to use what? ¿Cómo le llamamos a esto? WH question. WH, WH, WH questions. Excellent. So in, in a structure or formula number two, at the beginning, we will have to use a WH question plus the auxiliary do or does plus the subject or pronoun plus the verb plus the complement with the difference, guys, that as you can see in number two, we can answer the question with yes or no. But in number two, when you use a WH question at the beginning, you will never ever say yes or no. Sí, en la número dos nunca vamos a responder con sí o no. Siempre vamos a dar long answers, preguntas largas. Never saying yes, I do, no, I don't. Never. When you use a WH question at the beginning, keep that in mind. You will have to give long answers. So let me see. Um, Jacqueline, help me reading example number one. Okay. What do you play on your computer? I play games on my computer. Okay, thank you very much. Rodrigo Chicas, number two. When does your mother go to work? She goes to work at six o'clock. Thank you very much. And the last one, Crisio Marroquín. Christian, you there? Well, hello. Adrian, Adrian, I see that you raise your hand. Adriana, go ahead. Where do you meet your friends? I meet them at the bus stop. Okay, thank you very much. So using the logic, guys, being logical, if you said, what do you play on your computer? Si le preguntan a usted, ¿qué juega en la computadora? Usted no va a responder, sí, yo juego en la computadora. Doesn't make any sense. So the same thing happens in English. So remember, in formula number two, if you use a WH question at the beginning, you will have to give a long answer. You will never be allowed to say only yes or no. Are we clear on that part, guys? Or is there any question? I clear. Clear, teacher. Clear, clear as the water. Clear. That's good. Very good. So... Here we have, guys, uh, let me see Jenny Sanchez, please help me reading this part, if you don't mind. To make a question in English, we normally use do or does. It has no translation in Spanish. Do. In Spanish. Do. do. Is, is, it is essential. So mm -hmm. we are making a question. It is normally put at the beginning of the question. Okay, thank you. So guys, what is that saying? That little explanation, it's saying that if you have an affirmative sentence, you can easily make it a question. How? By adding do or does at the beginning and automatically it will be a question. We have example. You speak English. If you want to make that sentences, that affirmative sentences into a question, you will easily have to add 
do at the beginning, obviously the question mark at the end, and that will be a question. Do you speak English? You see, do you speak English? Do you speak English? Intonation, and obviously knowing that, that you can easily make an affirmative sentence, a question. Thank you very much. Uh, Jenny, let me see. Um, Rodrigo Chicas, help me reading this part number two, please. You will see that we add do at the beginning of the affirmative sentence to make it a, a question. We use do, do when the subject is I, you, we, or they. Excellent. So uh, we have an example here using thus. And once again, a, a simple affirmative sentence, we can easily make it a question just by adding thus or do at the beginning, obviously, according to the subject you have and the question mark. He speaks French. Does he speak French? You see, that's the difference. And the last part, uh, Patricia Veronica, go ahead and help me reading the last part. When the subject is he, she, or it, we are thus at the beginning to make to affirmative sentence a question. Not, notice that not, the letter. Notice. Uh, notice that the letter S at the end of the verb in the affirmative sentence because it's in, in third person. Disappears in the question. We will. See the reason why below. Sorry. Okay. No, it's okay. Below. That's the way we pronounce it. Okay. So that brief explanation says what you already know. When we make a question using thus, we do not modify the verb because we are already using or we are already making a question. When are we going to modify the verb, guys? When? When we use third person. When we are only using third person, but in affirmative sentences. Okay. So is there any questions so far? Okay. No questions. Up teacher. All right. So if there's no questions, here it comes practice number two. So let's go. And you let me know so I can move to the next one. This, this one's going to be kind of, comp well, easy. All right, so I think that I can move to the next one, right? Yes, teacher. Yes. So. And this is the last one. Okay. So I think that we're okay with that. So uh, my suggestion for you guys Please start by the exercise number two and three, and just leave the last one, dejar para el último, the crosswords, okay? So, um, just let me see, let me create just to break your rooms once again, and let's go. Oh, oh my God, okay.
Do you drink what? Do you drink? Sí. Mineral water. Water. Okay. Intonation. For practice intonation. <laughs> okay. Uh, second. 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 Yes, the second. Do Sara and Last Linda no sería. feel? Eh, no, porque ¿Mm? son ellos. Ajá, son ellos. Das. Ellos. No, ajá. Do It's Sara do. and Linda feel? This meeting is being recorded. Do you agree? And the first one is, do you do drink mineral water? What is it? Do you, do you do drink mineral water? Yeah. Do, do you drink? Water. Second is do Sarah and Linda feed their pets? Have a nap in the morning? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Rondan eat a banana in the morning, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. See. Okay, um, the next. Um, spur, do you like? Tres. Barber to father? <clears throat> does your father? Does, does, yes. Does your father? So like borrow. Does your father to like borrow? Like yes. mm -hmm. What? 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 what do you do your parents what? What should we do for you? Uh, hey. Grand, do your grandmother answer the phone? The nine does Andy do the shopping? Does Andy do the shopping? So then that's it. a cup. Have a cup. Yes. Okay. The next. The next. The next. Yes. The next, please. Okay. Next. Mm. Do you walk to school? Uh huh. Do you walk? Do you walk to school? Uh huh. Do you walk to school? Do you walk to school? Do you walk? Walk. Uh huh. Walk. We don't forget the intonation. Ah, uh, the pronunciation. <laughs> we don't for. We don't forget intonation. <clears throat> Ah, okay. Ronda. The second. Does, does Ronda eat a banana? A banana in the morning? Yes. Yes. It's a question. It's a question. Huh? Yes. 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 Does, does Ronda, Ronda, does Ronda does eat? eat a banana in the morning? In the morning? Ah, yeah. Uh huh. Does a banana? Does Ronda a banana in the morning? Does Ronda eat it's a banana? Uh, eat, uh, yeah. The third. Uh -huh. Did the third. you, father? 
Does like your father like estamos hablando de él. De él. Ajá. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Does your, your, your father like parrots? Like parrots? Mm -hmm. For? Uh -huh. uh, does, does Wendy to share yeah. a room with her sister? Yes. Uh, este, um, Five? Uh, uh, that's Andy. Okay. No. No. Hola. Hola. Eh, terminaron la primera. Ah, uh, yes, uh, uh, hay una. Uh -huh. Había otra. Sí. Ya. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Okay. Entiendo. Sí, ya la vamos a compartir. ¿Alguien la, la, la va a compartir? Ah, sí, sí. No sé si es esta. No, no, no. Si alguien me ayuda, porque creo que esa no le tomé captura. Aunque yo recuerdo. Do you... Aquí está. Okay. Oh. Uh -huh. So the first one we have you is do you is do drink. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Mineral water. Okay, guys, were you all able to complete the exercises? Did you complete them all? No, teacher. My no, teacher. team, we, we don't finish, finish it, the, the last. No, the first. The first. Uh, the first one. Okay, no problem with that one. So I just let me wait for the other ones to come back. Because I can see here people still there on their books. Yeah, people are still there. Okay. All right, so we're going to resolve the last exercise and I will need, and I will tell you a number. Let me see, Cecilia Melgar will have number one, Rufino number two, Patricia Veronica number three, Maria Luz de Nieto number four, 
Estela Lara, number five. Jacqueline, number six. Norma Marbelli, seven. Alejandra Cristina, eight. Carlos Dubón, nine. And Claudia Iraeta, number 10. So go ahead. Okay, uh, number first, uh, do you drink One. mineral water? Do you drink? No, we don't have drink there. Walk, walk. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. Walk. Do you do you walk? Uh, do you walk uh, to a school? S repeat the verb again. Can you repeat the verb the verb again? Okay. Uh, do you walk to a school? Hmm. Puedo escuchar una mini L ahí pronunciada. Okay, sorry, teacher. And uh, do you walk to school? Okay. That's better. Okay, thank you very much. Number two. Does, does Ronda eat a banana in the morning? Thank you very much. Number three. Uh, do your father to like parrots? Say it again. Uh, do your father to mm -hmm. like parrots? <laughs> do your father, guys, is that correct? Is that? No, we, no, teacher. Patricia, we use does because we are referring to your father. And your father, it is a male. So we're talking about yeah. he. Yeah. So we have to say, does your father like parrots? Thank you very much. Number four. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Does to share when Wendy room with sorry. her sister? No, no, no. I'm sorry. Well, repeat it again. <laughs> does to share? Mm, does to share? When Wendy a room with her sister? Or oh, that's Wendy. No, that's to share. That's to share or that's Wendy? Guys, in general, is that's to share or that's Wendy? That's Wendy. That's Wendy. That's Wendy. That's Wendy. Yes. That's that's Wendy, Wendy. shared a room with her yeah. sister. Okay, okay. that's Wendy share a room with her sister. Okay, thank you very much. Number five. Does Liz rains rains a lot in England? The England? Does it rain a lot in England? Thank you very much. Yeah. Number six. Do you take friends to do a sport after school? And say it again. Do you take friends to do a sport after school? Remember, we do not say to. We just say, do the friends do sports after school? Thank you very much. Number seven. Do Susan and Jack go camping in summer? Thank you very much. Number eight. Do they, do they invite the friends to the party? Excellent. Very good. Thank you very much. Number nine. Do we to wait at the bus stop? Do we to wait? Is that correct, guys? Do we do say we do wait. we to wait? No. Do we wait? No. We just say do, do we, wait. we wait? We wait at the bus stop. But thank you very much. Number 10. Does he to smile in the morning? Do we say to smile? No. Smile. Does he smile? Does he Does smile he. in the morning? But thank you very much. Okay, guys. So we have enough practice of the simple present. Y aquellos que todavía estamos teniendo, teniendo struggling por ahí, please 
study at home, las reglas, verdad, las fórmulas, do not forget them. So that will help you to do not make the same mistakes, para no cometer los mismos errores una y otra y otra vez, okay? Okay. So that's going to be all for today, guys. Thank you very much for attending to the class. Keep on working on the platform whenever you can and see you tomorrow at the same time, okay? Have a good Thank night. You tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.